Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a favorites video for you guys. I haven't done a favorites video in a few months. I wanna say probably September, August was the last time I did a favorites video. And there's been a bunch of products I've been loving recently. Not only beauty products, but I have some fashion items as well. So before we jump into today's video, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button if you are not subscribed to my channel yet. And if you aren't following me over on Instagram, I will put my handle on the screen. Please go follow me over there. And last but not least, don't forget to go follow me over on Like to Know It. My direct link is in the description box so that way you can just click it and hit follow. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So the first beauty product I want to mention before I forget is the K18. And I just did a video dedicated to K18 on my channel. So if you haven't seen that video, I will leave a link in the description box so you can go check it out and find out all the details. But up on the screen, I do have a picture of the product. I don't actually have it in my possession at the moment. I let my mom borrow it because her hair was just getting damaged and dried out. So I gave it to her to try and she tried it and loved it as well. But K18 is a product that helps to rebuild and strengthen the bonds of your hair. It's very different from Olaplex. And in the video that I did on K18, I go through all of that with you guys. But the reason it is in my favorites for today is because I have noticed a drastic difference in my hair. The very first time I ever tried K18, my hair was way past my haircut time. So my ends were very fried feeling, very dried out. My split ends had split ends and I decided to give it a try because I wanted to see if I could see a difference, if I could feel a difference. And I kid you not, after that first use, my hair completely changed. The rough, dry, fried feeling split ends literally just felt like they went back together. The ends felt like I had just gotten a fresh haircut now, obviously it doesn't fix split ends because the only way to get rid of split ends is to cut them off, but the texture of my hair felt completely different. My hair overall was so much shinier. It was silky, it was smooth. It just really changed how my hair felt and looked. And ever since that time, I was hooked on K18. I have been using it consistently and I've just completely fallen in love with the product. So if you guys haven't tried K18, definitely give it a try. You can go check out my K18 video for a more in-depth review of that product, but it is amazing and I had to mention it in today's video. The next beauty product I want to mention is the Dior Forever Foundation. This is the matte one and I am in the shade 2.5. And I'm actually wearing it on my skin today or as my base today. And I just have been loving this foundation. Hold on one sec. So I purchased the Dior Forever Foundation probably about, well, almost a year ago, I think at this point. This was the original foundation and I tried it and I did not like it. Now, mind you, this is the Skin Glow version, not the matte version, but I just did not like the formula. I felt like it separated on me. It just didn't blend well. It didn't work well with other products. I don't even know why I still have it, to be honest, but I just, I really didn't like this formula. So when the Dior Forever kind of relaunched, I decided to give it another try because I wanted to see if there was a difference in the formula. I have been so in love with this foundation. And as I've mentioned in other videos, I do have dry skin. And even though this is a matte foundation, it doesn't feel overly matte. It's not drying. It's just beautiful on the skin. I just, I really, Love it, and I love that the coverage is buildable. I just, this is definitely a new favorite foundation for me, and I did do a whole dedicated video on this as well, so I will leave a link to that in the description box. 
Next up is a primer and it is the new Vanish Airbrush Primer from Hourglass. It looks like this. The new one has the gold bottle and I did pull the original, which is the Mineral Veil Primer from Hourglass, just so you guys can see the difference here. And for a long time, the original was my go-to. It was the one primer that I would purchase over and over again. And to be honest, I just fell out of love with it when One Size Beauty launched their primer because that one just worked so much better for my skin. And when Hourglass announced that they were going to do the airbrush primer, I was really intrigued because I remembered how much I loved the original Mineral Veil primer and I wanted to compare the two. This I love so much more than the original Mineral Veil Primer. Yes, they do two different things, but this is just beautiful. It is the primer that I am wearing today, and I just love how it smooths this whole area for me. This is only kind of where I apply it, and it is a little bit thicker. I do use two pumps, but this has been a new go-to for me, and since getting this primer i haven't really picked up my one size beauty primer so that is definitely saying a lot for how much i truly truly love this primer so next up is a product that i didn't think i would love as much as i do it is the necessaire deodorant gel i know it's a super weird random product but I did pick it up in the scent Eucalyptus. It also comes in a fragrance-free version, and it is a roller ball. This has completely changed the game for me for so many reasons. So one, a little bit of product goes a very long way. I've had this since December, so it's been about two months, but you can see I've barely used any like I don't even think the camera is picking up how little I've used so for the price of this I want to say it's $15 that kind of sounds expensive for deodorant but I've been using this for two months and there's barely any use from this so that shows me that the $15 is going to go a long way but what I love about this deodorant is it's aluminum free, it's baking soda free, it's talc free, it's paraben free, it's essentially crap free, which I love. It also has AHA in it, which is going to help smooth all the bumps under your underarm just to make your underarm, you know, smoother and just really help the skin. I love, love, love this deodorant. And even though it's a gel, when you apply it, it dries almost instantly, which is probably one of my favorite features about this product. And it keeps odors away all day. I've never had one issue with this deodorant. And after trying it and talking to other people that have used it, they all feel the same way. It's just a really good, natural deodorant that actually works. So it's very exciting. I love it. And if you are somebody that's looking to try a natural deodorant, you're kind of still using your Dove or Old Spice or whatever it may be, definitely give this one a try. It really works well. And I forgot to mention, it doesn't leave a stain on your clothes. A lot of other deodorants can leave marks on your clothes or that yellow staining if you're sweating or whatever. Nothing with this nothing. It is the best deodorant I've ever used in my whole life, which sounds dramatic, but it's true. It is so good. So if you're looking for a natural deodorant, definitely look into that. I do know that on Nordstrom, it was sold out for a while. I think it came back in stock. I will leave a link for everything that I mention in the description box as always, but if it is out of stock, add it to your wish list because you'll get notified as soon as it comes back in stock. Next up is this Shiseido Treatment Softener Enriched Lotion. It is basically a toner. It is for normal, dry, and very dry skin, which is me. They do have one for oily or combination skin. This is one of the best hydrating toners I have ever used in my life. I know that sounds dramatic, but I'm not kidding you. It is so good if you have dry skin. So obviously it's a pump, so you will put some on a cotton pad, but when you use it, 
it literally feels like you put a liquid moisturizer on your skin. Your skin feels so hydrated and silky and smooth and plumped. And that's a feeling that lasts all day. Sometimes when I wash my face at night, I will just put on the toner if I'm really tired or lazy. And I go to bed and my skin it still feels very hydrated. It's not one of those toners that dries and then you kind of feel like you have to put something on on top of that. It is so unique and so hydrating and I've just been loving it recently. The next product is from Kevin Murphy. It is the Staying Alive Leave-In Treatment Spray. This is amazing. I use it every single time I get out of the shower. I put it on damp hair. It's got vitamin C, vitamin E. It's got antioxidants in your hair. So it's going to help strengthen and heal your hair, repair the hair. It's also going to be like a weightless moisturizer for your hair. And when I say weightless, I'm literally not kidding. You can put a whole bunch of this product in your hair and it literally feels like you're spraying it with water. I put styling products on top. It doesn't get heavy. It's literally perfect for every hair type. And I've noticed a huge difference since using it. There's some times where I will only use that and a little bit of the Olaplex oil on my ends and my hair is so silky smooth when I'm done blow drying it. It's literally a miracle product and I just have been loving it. So this next product is a product that I have talked about recently and it is none other than the brand new Orbe Hair Alchemy Shampoo. I've really been loving this since I got my hands on it. It just recently launched earlier this month. And for those of you that don't know, I do manage a salon that carries Orbe, which was why I was able to get it before it launched. And basically it just creates a barrier around each hair follicle. So that way, as you style your hair, as you um, brush your hair, it protects it from damage. And this will help strengthen your hair over time, which will um, lead to hair growth and keeping your hair healthy and strong so you can grow your hair longer. So a ton of amazing benefits in the Alchemy line. Since completely changing my hair care routine, which I'm going to do a separate video on that um, probably in the next week or two, but this shampoo from Alchemy is one that product that I mentioned and since incorporating it into my hair care routine, I've noticed that I've had less hair fallout in the shower and I'm somebody that definitely used to clog the drain every time I showered and since using it, I've noticed barely any hair fallout in the shower. Just kind of your typical like 10 to 20 hairs, which is a lot less than I've had in the past. So I have been loving the shampoo and it is probably now one of my top three favorite shampoos from Orbe. And the last product I'm going to mention is from Elemis and it is their new clarifying serum. It looks like this. And this product is designed for those with acne or that suffer from a lot of blackheads, anything like that where your skin needs to be clarified and keep it from breaking out. Now, although I don't really suffer from acne as much anymore, I do have pigmentation that I'm looking to get rid of. And a lot of it has faded quite drastically since using several Elemis products. But I wanted to try this one and I really wanted to see if I could notice a difference and I have noticed a difference. So not only does it help prevent breakouts, um, it just helps to keep your pores clean, but it also helps to get rid of the pigmentation from acne spots. So I have noticed quite a difference with this and it is just something that I have been using every single day in my skincare routine. This is a very, very lightweight serum. So I put this one on first and layer my other serums on top and what a difference it has made. So if you are somebody that suffers from acne or you're looking to get rid of your spots, definitely give this one a try because it is so good. I love it. So this next item is one that you've probably seen me wear over on my like to know it page or over on my Instagram. 
and it is these super flared pants from Free People. They are incredible. They are corduroy, as you can see. The color is just fall perfection. I love the super wide leg right here. These are the perfect length. I am five foot four, and I do wear them with about a three inch heeled booty, and they are just the perfect length. The one thing I love about them is they are not high rise. I know everybody is a high rise fan except for me. I'm the only one on the planet I think that does not like high rise. I don't have a rise, like I'm leg and then it goes to ribs. Like there's no waist area whatsoever. So high rise just does not work for my body. So when I saw these were low rise, I grabbed them in a heartbeat and I'm so glad I did because they fit beautifully they are so comfortable they have a ton of stretch so when you're wearing them it almost feels like you're wearing leggings but pants i also love that the front although looks kind of like denim wood there's no zipper there's no button anything like that but they do have pockets on the back which is amazing I love these pants so much that I did pick them up in another color. They do come in four colors. I haven't been able to get my hands on the blue pair or the light pink pair, but they are on my wish list. And if they come back in stock, I am going to buy them in a heartbeat because I can't tell you how much I love these pants. They're just so comfortable, so flattering, and literally every single time I wear them, People in public or at work, they're always stopping me and complimenting me on my pants. They are so good. I think they might be out of stock or there's limited sizes left. I will leave a link down in the description. Um, but if you are somebody that does not like high rise or you are okay wearing low rise, um, definitely grab them if you can because they are so good. And I do want to just say that even though they say low rise on me, they are more of a mid to high rise just because of the way my body is. They are not the super low rise where if you bend over, you're going to see it all. I would say they're more mid rise than low rise, but these pants are amazing. If you can grab them, definitely grab them because you will thank me. I promise you. Next up are these booties that I have been loving and I feel like they are just a staple piece in your wardrobe. They are so fun perfect for really any occasion where you want to get glam or you want to be a little edgy and they are these steve madden booties right here they're so beautiful i love them so much and the camera really isn't picking up the sparkle on these boots but i'm telling you in person they are so sparkly and when you wear them in the sun, literally everybody stops you. They're just incredible. They are so comfortable. I will say I am usually a true eight and with these, I did size up to a nine, I believe. Yes, a nine. So I did go up one full size. I do have these boots in other colors and I think my black pair are a size eight and a half and they fit just fine but just for a little added comfort i did size up to a nine in two of the pairs they're so good they are so good so comfortable even though it looks like a steep heel to some people it really isn't on the inside i could walk forever in these they're so so comfortable but I just love how they are like a puffy jacket, but with a little glam to them, they're so fun. So if you need a good pair of booties, definitely pick these up. I know we are coming to an end with winter, but at least grab them for next year, at least start your winter wardrobe for next year. And I think these were on sale for $70 when I last checked, which was a couple days ago. So if they're on sale, grab them because you are going to fall in love. And speaking of falling in love, I found these really cute, simple, well, to me, they're kind of simple, uh, pumps from DSW when I took my daughter shoe shopping the other day and better yet they were on clearance so love that 
I did check the DSW before filming this video and they're still listed. They're still there and they have a bunch of sizes left. So if you are wanting pumps in this color or you just love them, definitely grab them. I think they were on sale for 55, so not too bad. And they also come in black. So if you're not a fan of the blue, the black is beautiful and probably goes with a lot more. And I thought it was so beautiful. You could pair it with a white pair of denim. You could do it with a dress. There's just so many ways to style this shoe. And I feel like it's a good dupe for Manolo Blahniks, which are very expensive. This heel and the layout of the shoe is very comfortable and I love that I can walk so easily in this shoe. It's not one where your foot slides out or it's uncomfortable. It's just really well made shoe. They are by Jessica Simpson and I always have really good luck with her heels. I find them to be very comfortable, very wearable and every single pair of Jessica Simpson heels I've ever owned have lasted me years and years and years. So they are very well made for the price. So definitely give these a try. So last but not least are my P448 shoes and I just brought both pairs to show you. But I have been loving this brand of shoe for quite some time now. They are so, so comfortable. And these are my blue velvet ones. The toe is more of like a silvery white. They're just, they're so, so comfortable. I did pick them up at Nordstrom Rack. I think they were on sale for 180, which is not bad when the full price is around 300. And they are great, great dupes for Golden Goose. I actually think I prefer my P448 to Golden Goose. Golden Goose is very comfortable as well. However, after a while, it starts to rub on my toe and becomes a little bit uncomfortable. And the P448 toe box is just a tiny bit wider than Golden Goose which is why I think they are more comfortable and why I can walk so much more in these versus Golden Goose. So if you've been wanting to try the Golden Goose sneakers or that trend, I would say go with the P448s first. They're way more comfortable, they're less expensive, and I think they have some really, really cute styles. And that way you can try them out, see, and make sure that you really love this kind of beat up sneaker look because not everybody loves it, but I love it. And I think it's just a really fun, fun sneaker. It's a fun way to dress up an outfit. So if you've been wanting to jump on this trend, definitely give these a try. You can always find them on sale, I think at Nordstrom Rack, so even better. So I will leave links to similar styles because I tried looking for these two exact styles before and I couldn't find them anywhere. So I'll leave similar ones and I did pick them up in a size 38, which translate to a US 8. So I did buy them true to size. Now, would I have sized up a half a size? Probably if they had my size, but they do fit very well. They're very comfortable. I just can't wear a thicker sock with them, which is totally fine. So. I'll leave links to similar styles of these down below. So those were all of my recent favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. And if you enjoyed this video, please give my video a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. Send it to your friends. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye you guys.